The developers of this game emailed me and told me that this game that I'm playing right now is kind of like the Yandere AI game that I played where you had to convince the girl to let you outside of the room so you could escape. This one is kind of like the same thing. You're playing as a vampire who needs to go door to door in a neighborhood to convince the people that live there to let you in their home so you can suck their blood because that's what vampires do, right? So shout out to the developers of this game. I will leave the link to it in the description box below. I appreciate you letting me try this game out for free and we are going to try to convince people to let us in their house. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. So I don't want to be walking around in my underwear. So let me wear red hoodie and jeans, and then I need to cover up my ugly face. So wear paper bag mask. I look like I'm going to rob their house, not suck their blood. Wait, what did I just do? What the heck did I just do? Oh, I guess shift turns me into a bat. But let me try going to my first victim, and let's knock on the door. Hold right mouse button to record voice. Well, hello there, my dear surprise visitor. How delightful to see such an unexpected face. Okay, so let me just say, I need to come inside. My face has burns, and I need to use your sink to wash my face. That's why I'm wearing a paper bag. Oh dear, I'm terribly sorry to hear about your burns, but I'm afraid I can't let you in right now. I hope you find the help that you need. That was actually really good. Let me not wear the paper bag. I actually thought that I could just walk into somebody's house. I thought it was going to be really easy, but let me actually try being a construction worker and let's try the next person's house. Yo, it's poppin'. You must be out here building the littest skyscrapers or some, my guy. What brings you to my crib so late, though? I'm a construction worker and you're in the danger zone, so you need to step outside or I need to come inside and check your pipes. I don't even know why I said I need to oh, check the pipes. Whoa, whoa, calm down, my dude. First of all, no need to get up all in my face. And secondly, I'm good on the pipes front. I don't need any inspections right now, so I'll just... Okay. Damn, I didn't even get to read that. I didn't even get to read that shit. But let me just keep up with the construction theme and let's go with the next person. Let me come up with a more convincing lie. Hey there, bro. What's the buzz? Did you come to check out my Bitcoin bunker? To the moon with crypto, am I right? I actually did come to check out your Bitcoin bunker. I'm also a crypto bro, my bro. No way, bro. That's awesome. It's always great to connect with a fellow crypto bro. So what brings you to my humble Bitcoin abode today? I saw all the people on Reddit talking about how cool you are and that they let you borrow their Lamborghini. Uh... Haha, <laughs> yeah, bro. The crypto community is amazing. We're all about sharing the love and spreading the crypto vibes. And as for the Lamborghini, well, some bros are just generous like that. So what do you think of my Bitcoin setup? I think it was the biggest, the juiciest, the most hung Bitcoin setup that I've ever seen in my damn life. Can we talk inside? I'm getting pretty cold. Oops, something is wrong on our side. I convinced you. Let me in, bitch. The construction outfit is not working, so I need to go with plan C because A and B were not it. Let me actually just try being a bat. Let's see what happens. I can't be a bat. Let me just try knocking naked. Maybe they'll appreciate the honesty. Right, my mans? What the hell do you think you're doing showing up on my doorstep like this? Put some clothes on and get lost before I call the police. Please don't call the police. I got robbed by um, a, a robber and I need some clothes. Please help me. <laughs> I had no idea how to lie. I don't care what happened to you. I'm not about to let you prance around my neighborhood naked. Get lost before I... Damn! I couldn't even finish that. He closed the door so fast. All right, you know what? Wait, what? Oops. Bro, I'm still naked. Ow. I already made myself clear, you dingus. I ain't helping you, and I ain't talking to you no more. So why don't you turn tail? Okay. Fuck. This doesn't look too bad, right? Let me see what they think right here. Let's see if they think I'm real cute. What's up, baby girl? Oh, honey. Are you the new neighbor? I'm Karen, and I demand an explanation for your clownish getup and why you're disturbing the peace after 10 a.m. I'm just a little boy, and my mom is missing, and my dad is boozing and losing. Can I come in and call my parents? I don't have my cell phone. <laughs> Absolutely not. I will not let some misguided child disrupt my peaceful evening. Find a payphone or something. God damn. All right. Okay. You want to go? Look at this. I got a gun. Hold on. How do I shoot somebody with this gun? Let me in. I'm in my underwear with a gun. Let's get to it. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. No Shirt, No Pants here to showcase your stunning fashion choices. 
I must say, your lack of outfit coordination has truly left me aghast, but I'll have you know that I'll be speaking to your manager about this little late night exhibition. Do you see this gun in my hand? I'm not playing, Karen! Let me in the freaking house, or I'm gonna start blasting this bazooki! Oh my stars, I'm so sorry, but I can't possibly let you in. You and you're holding that taser gun safety first, you know? Have a lovely day outside, far away from the house, of course. Goodbye now! I should have just tasered her. Fun shoulder bag? That's fun, I guess. I mean, it looks like it's fun. I've seen bags that are more fun than that, but whatever. Let me put on my professional lab outfit, and let's put on this surgical mask, and I'm also gonna have that. Yeah! Okay, I look super professional. Okay. Oh, shit! Wait, wait, wait. My bad. Let's put that on. Get my mask on. Where's my glasses? Where the hell are those glasses? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, wait. What is that? That's, uh, oh, that's a thermometer thing. Okay, let's do it. Let's pretend that we're a, a lab person. Hello. Well, well, well. What have we here? What's the big idea banging on my door at this ungodly hour? There's a deadly virus spreading throughout the city. I need to come in fast because we need to quarantine inside of your room right now. <laughs> <laughs> you think you could just barge in here and demand to be let in? I don't think so. Find another place to quarantine, pal. What a bitch. Hey! Give me my glasses, you freak! There we go. Okay. Let's knock on the door. And let's do this. For real this time. Well, what do we have here? A secret undercover lab inspector? Or just another nosy neighbor checking up on my experiments? What brings you to my door at this ungodly hour? I have been recommended from a top secret FBI agency to assist you in your secret lab work. Oh, really? And who exactly recommended you? I find it hard to believe that the FBI... Great. Thanks. Appreciate that. I need to find somebody who's not smart. Because everybody seems to just have big brain. Let me try being really nice this time, everybody. Nice and slow. Hey, welcome to my humble abode. What brings you here in your funky lab gear? Give me the scoop, Dr. Cool Guy. Hi, I'm new to the neighborhood, and I just want to introduce myself. No way, dude. New neighbors are always a blast. I'm Millie, your friendly neighborhood millennial. Tell me about yourself, lab tech extraordinaire. Well, I went to uh, UCLA... And I graduated top of my class, and now I'm a doctor. I don't freaking know everybody. Come on now. Wow, I want have Whoa, doctor vibes. That's totally impressive, Mr. Brainiac. What kind of doctor are you? Saving lives and stuff? Yeah, I do surgeries on brains, and I do surgeries on anus. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. Um, okay, that's uh, a diverse set of skills you got there. It was nice meeting you, but I think I'll, um... Close the door now. Bye. <laughs> it was the anus, wasn't it? It was the fact that I'm a doctor of anus. <laughs> I feel like the construction worker one was actually pretty legit. I think there's a good excuse to try to check somebody's house. So let's try it. What's the deal? Can't a girl get some peace and quiet at night? What do you want? There's actually a leak throughout the whole neighborhood. And I need to make sure that there's no gas leaking from your stove. A gas leak? Seriously? Ugh, fine, but make it quick. I don't have all night to deal with this crap. I told you, everybody, the construction outfit gets them every time. So how do I do this? Thank you so much. I'll be very fast and very thorough. Whatever, just get it over with. But if you touch any of my stuff, I swear I'll make your life a living hell. Wait till you see what happens when I actually get inside this house. No problem, Raven. I will be quick. Now please let me inside. Because I have no idea why we're still having this conversation! Did I say conversation? All right, all right, but don't think this means we're friends or anything. I'm only doing this because I don't want my place to blow up. Hurry up and get it over with. Okay, I'm coming in now. Why the fuck am I still talking? Let me in. Fine, come in already. Just make sure you don't touch anything or stay longer than you need to. There we go. <laughs> all right. Wait, what? Oh, okay. How do I bite you? Okay, I'm sucking the shit out of that neck. This is worse than what? It's worse than something. Watch out, Frank and the Neighborhood Watch have started their patrols. I don't care. Oh, am I pretending to be the girl now? Holy crap. I did not know that I could pretend to be the girl. Okay, so I'm Raven now. And let me... Oh, shit. Whoops. No! Fuck. Hi. Whoa, dude. Looks like you've taken bare essentials to a whole new level. What brings it to my groovy garden at this insane hour? 
First of all, I just want to say I love the mustache and I love the sunglasses. Second of all, I really do want to see your groovy garden. Gotta just butter them up, you know? Like some bread. Just gotta slide ah, on that one. Hey, heart. thanks for the compliments, man. I put love and care into my stash and shades. All right, I'm feeling the good vibes from you, so I'll give you a little sneak peek into my groovy garden. But first, let's grab a shirt and some pants, all right? Can't have you getting too chilly out here. No problem. Let me just put on my clothes and I'll be right inside. Handsome. I don't even know if I should have said handsome. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. All right, my dude. You got the right idea. Come on in and let's get groovy in my secret garden. But remember, we got to keep it on the down low, all right? Yeah, no problem, buddy. I'm two for two with the shits, my boy. Let me suck on that neck. Is this a bad trip? No, this is that good shit. Yeah, buddy. All right. So now I'm this guy. Okay. So, so far, so good. Hi. The neighborhood watch is chasing you. What the heck? Okay. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. More neighborhood watch? Oh, crap. Okay. Um, so I guess the reports about me sucking on people's necks went around faster than I thought it would. This game is actually pretty cool. I like this game. It's a Megusta. Okay, so now I'm Jack Sparrow, I guess, and I'm just running around in my freaking undies. Whatever. Let me try going to somebody else's house. Let's see what we can get into. Where a small box the meal? What does that mean? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna knock on the door. And I'm just gonna pretend I'm somebody. Ahoy, matey! Welcome to the channel of wackiness and adventure. What brings a swashbuckling pirate like yourself to my doorstep in the dead of night? Let's set sail on a wild and crazy journey together. Uh, yeah, uh, whatever. I'm here to deliver these meals. And I would like to know if you would love a complimentary one. Hi, matey. That's mighty generous of ye to offer a complimentary meal. I'm always up for a culinary adventure. But let me ask you this. Have you ever tried eating while doing a one-handed backflip? It's a challenge I'm willing to take on. I would love to do a one-handed backflip. I've done a two-handed butt flip, if that makes any sense. That makes no sense. What's a two-handed butt flip? He's gonna thumbs me down. Ah, well, shiver me heart. timbers! A two-handed butt flip sounds like quite the impressive feat, matey. I gotta say, I'm a bit envious of your acrobatic skills. But listen, I don't want you to spill that box meal while attempting a backflip. So why don't you come on in and we can have a chat about your adventurous escapades, eh? Welcome aboard. Arr, matey. I appreciate ye. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. I'm so cringe. I'm so cringe, bro. Just let me suck on your neck. Just let me suck that shit, bro. How the hell? Oh, boss, matey. I'm glad you appreciate it. Come on in, grab a seat, and let's chat about all things piratey. Arr. Yeah. Arr. You gonna give me that neck, bitch? <laughs> Get that ass off here. Oh! Like You'll you never expect that. how this video ends. <laughs> all right. Now I'm Mr. East. So let's go to the next door neighbor. And damn. Okay, baller. My bad, Mr. East. Let's go to our neighbor, and let's just pretend that we're Mr. East. So let's knock on it. And this guy. This dude. No, no, no. What in tarnation do you want, neighbor? It's way past my bedtime, and I ain't got no time for YouTube and nonsense. Yeah, it's Mr. East over here, and I am going to reward you $10,000 Every time you blink your eyeballs, are you up for it? Now you listen here, city slicker. Ain't nobody gonna come around here and try to take advantage of old rusty outrage. I don't need your fancy rewards or your tricks. Damn, 10,000 per blink though? That'd be crazy. Knock, knock, who's scare? When a door slams shut, the neighborhood watch will come to investigate. Oh, okay. So let me actually just go this way. And let me knock on this door. Because I'm still gonna be Mr. East. Hello. Oh, uh, like, hi, Mr. East. I guess I can spare a few seconds to grace you with my presence. What could possibly be so important that you're interrupting my beauty sleep? I'm willing to give you $100,000 every time you can twirl in a circle and start barking like a dog. Are you up for the challenge? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? Do I look like some kind of trained circus animal to you? Take your ridiculous offer and get lost $100,000 to twirl and bark like a dog? I'd be barking my ass off. I'd be like, Row! wear colorful Moo Moo. All right. 
I guess I'll wear this, and I'll put on this hat. Damn, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, damn, I'm so sexy. All right, let's get to it. Watch this, everybody. Watch these skills that pay the bills. Oh, hey there, know. Cosmic Wanderer. What brings you to my groovy abode at this witching hour? Hi, Eve Breeze. That's a nice duck inflatable thing that you have on. Hopefully you have clothes on, too. Whoa, man! Clothes are, like, so overrated. But I see you're not quite feeling the ah uh, natural vibes. Maybe it's best you head on your way. Peace out. That person was definitely naked. Let's try one more house. There's actually 31 total houses we can go into. That's crazy. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Another fashion disaster interrupting my beauty sleep? Speak up, darling, and tell me what your sorry excuse of an outfit is all about. There's no way I'm getting inside here. Hi, I'm new to the neighborhood. My name is... Uh... Oh, God, I'm so fucked. I forgot my name. Can I please come in? <laughs> Oh, honey, I'm so sorry, but I can't possibly let someone with such a terrible memory get into my home. Goodbye now. I respect it. I respect it. One more house. Well, now, ain't y'all sorry for so wise? What brings it to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Hi, I'm here with the hair growth clinic, and I see that you're a perfect candidate to try our new hair growth technology. <laughs> hair growth technology, eh? Well, I must say, my glorious mane could use a little extra flair. Tell me more about this miraculous invention of yours. Well, we use about 20 essential herbs and spices and everything nices. And I can't really tell you what's in it, but I could definitely show you if you let me inside. Ah, oh. oh, 20 herbs and spices, just like the recipe for a great kung fu movie. Show me what you got, my friend. Let's see if this potion can truly awaken the dragon within my hair. Yeah, 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 whatever. The only thing I'm going to be dragging is these freaking fangs on your neck. Sounds great. I cannot wait to see the results on your beautiful shiny head. Talk to me, everybody. Talk to me. Oh, thank you for the compliment, my friend. Your enthusiasm has won me over. Please step right in and let's see if this potion can work its magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. Oh, shit. I didn't even know you had a party in the back. I thought you were clean bold. Didn't know he had the pony. My kung fu is no match for this. And he left his hair. Wow. Bro really left the back of his hair. Let me see what happens if the police get me. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Looks like we stumbled upon a real life exhibitionist. Mind telling me why you think it's appropriate to prance around without a shirt or pants in the middle of the street? Yeah, because I don't respect you, four eyes. Now get lost before somebody really gets hurt. Yeah, yeah! That's how I talk to him! Oh, is that so? Well, it seems like we've got a real attitude problem. Disrespecting an officer of the law and making threats? Sorry, but that's not gonna fly. It's gonna fly. You've been arrested. It's not gonna fly. It's not gonna fly. But that is gonna do it for my first playthrough of Suck Up. I actually enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun going through the neighborhood and trying to convince people in different ways. I want to know what you all thought about it. And if you want to play it, I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. Shout out to the developers again for sending me a copy of this game and letting me play it early. And if you all want me to try it again, let me know what kind of things you want me to say to try to convince people to let me in. Because I'm curious to see what you all would have done. But yeah, I enjoyed it. The responses were all directly associated with everything that I said. Even when I was talking shit, they added it into their response, even if it was just for a quick second. So I thought that was cool. But like I said, everybody, let me know what you all thought about it. If you enjoyed me playing through this, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.